There's a humane endpoint where ethically we did not want her to suffer and her quality of life had deteriorated. She was no longer able to eat or feed on her own. She couldn't move very well. She was very difficult walking and on the last day she couldn't move at all. And nobody wants her to suffer. She's had a wonderful life and we believe she deserved dignity in her life and dignity in her death. And we wanted to respect that. It was decided that for her not to suffer, we would euthanize her. It is always a difficult decision. Incredibly hard because we love Jaja. We've worked closely with her. She's part of our family. We miss her. But more than what we want for ourselves, is what's the best thing for Jaja. We can live with the decision. We, we know it's the right decision, and that gives us comfort in our loss and our pain that she's not in pain and she's not suffering. People will be able to come in and, and pay respects for her, and uh, already we have uh, videos that are on YouTube, our uh, website and at the exhibit that are testimonials to how she's affected the different people that have worked with her and the people that she's touched their lives. So we'll be mourning but also celebrating her, her life.